Hey guys, welcome to Cocktails with Cocktails. Nigga, this is not AM radio. Because why do you always do this to me? I mean, like, you could come up with your own intro. I can't. I, yes, I can. And you know what? Look, I'm going to work on it. We got I'm our first motherfucking Zoom guest in this bitch. And I'm very excited. All the way from, technically from North Carolina, then all the way to Brooklyn. And she screams, don't go to Bronx. But she's uh, Period. very Period. popular. A lot of people know her. Uh, well, I'm not even going to introduce her. I'm going to let her introduce herself. And we're going to have a dope-ass show. We're about to get into the intro question. So, Queen, please introduce yourself via Zoom. Ah, greetings and salutations. My name is Kiki. I am the host, content creator, and owner of the podcast, Keep the Kiki. Hey, there we go. Wait, but Kiki, where, where your drink at? Because you on cocktails <gasps> with cocktails. Yes, where is drink? my drink? My drink is in, can I go get my drink? I, I mean, we could talk about. I know. I forgot my drink. It's, we okay. She's gonna do this whole you. episode sober. We should have reminded you. Whoa, hey, we yes, did. We I'm did not get, gonna. I'll be back. We, we gonna get, get a visual, a little booty. We did get a little a titty. Little, a little, we got a little some titty. titty. Yeah, it was a titty right there. It like was a titty, titty right there. You think she could hear us? Oh, she probably can't hear us. You had sex this weekend? Did I have sex? No, I haven't had sex. Damn, you can't lie on the show. You want me to lie? And no, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is this is about all parts of sex. The dry spells as well. And that's okay. Trey, you had sex this weekend? With myself. Period. Hey, I had sex Tra- with myself this Trav weekend. Trav said he had sex with himself. I, I would get into that, but we're going to talk about that on another Did episode. you have sex this weekend? <clears throat> no, a period just stopped in the middle of the night. Mm. So you know how you know when a period stopped? Because she sleep butt-ass naked, so... Um, since you know, during a period, we normally let the dogs sleep in the bed because it's like it's definitely no action, right? So, uh, so I put the sorry. dogs down because they were all up on me, which was annoying. And so, when I got back in the bed, I was like, Wait, we got raw ass. I'm like, Yes, mm, so that now mean, you excited to do it tonight? Yeah, man, I'm gonna fuck some, some shit up. Them cheeks about period. to be smothered. Wait, <laughs> what did I miss? About What's to happening tonight? Oh, we was betting if you was gonna show some <laughs> cheeks before the end of the episode, really. Yeah, I'm sitting down. Like the most you might get out of me is like a boob, like. But oh, did you see that? I did. Yeah. Teamwork, teamwork make the dream work. It so does. Look, so we got Kiki back. She got oh, and it's straight. And she got like her a, drink. Like it's a true like southerner, a right? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Uh, whiskey straight. Oh, Period. Not even on the rocks. Yeah, I, I gotta have my shit on rocks. I gotta have my shit yes. on the rocks. I like to have. I like to put like the one big ice cube in my whiskey and yep. just and sip on it. Would you like to put an ice cube up your ass? Yeah. And he could suck it on my ass too. What about you, Kiki? No. All right, all right. I'm all right. really sensitive with cold. No. Okay. Fair. So, ooh, Fair. so something hot up your ass. Yes. Okay. Hot chocolate. Here we come. So, <laughs> to get into the show, we're going to start like with our intro burns. question. Shut up. Uh, the intro question is Can you reach more than one sexual peak? Yes. And In my opinion, I think you can because, like I said, well, I've reached my sexual peak at 27 when BDSM was introduced to me. So mm. I learned a lot about myself at 27 that I had no idea about at 23 and 24. Right. So it wow, was a makes peak for me. Mm-hmm. Yes. And now that I'm 34, the peaks just keep going upward because I know what my pleasure is. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. I'm mature enough to vocalize it to you without right. offending you. So it just keeps getting better. Okay. So I got That's two wonderful. questions off of that. Question one is how many peaks have you reached? And question two, can you break down that initial sexual peak? Like what happened sexually? Like that made you say, Oh my God, this is the peak. Like, this is like, that was it. <laughs> like what made you go on super saying like your pussy goes super saiyan. I passed out during sex. It was so much pleasure, so much pain, so overwhelming that like my brain just went malfunction. Like I have to like slack her out to save her because I think I was going to go into overload with the pleasure and I probably wouldn't have been able to handle it. So my peak was getting the right pleasure and it was so good that my body was like, we just gonna shut you down for a bit, just for a couple of seconds, so you can come to. Me. What was the pleasure? Right. What was going on? Shit, I gotta try this. Um, out. Mm-hmm. I was doing orgasm play. It was like I was learning about orgasm play. You know, that's one of my favorite. Things. Can you explain that too? Yes. Okay, so orgasm play can either be orgasm torture or orgasm denial. We were like our play section was orgasm torture, so it was. Seeing how many orgasms he could get out of me in 
like an hour span. So it was like I would come and he wouldn't stop. So I would just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. And to, eventually I got to the point where I can no longer see or hear. And I was just like not even functional. So my body just like shut down because it was like she's going to go into overload if you don't shut her down because it's too much pleasure for her to handle. Mm. It's now on my that sounds bucket amazing. List yeah, that's now that's yeah. now on my bucket list because I do if I climax too much, I do actually go deaf. But mm-hmm. I can see I can actually see better when I come. It's like the world gets clearer. Really? When I come. That's yeah. different. So I, I actually I go deaf, my ears start to ring. I can't hear Mine too. and but my vision is like, oh my God. I can see all the colors in the wind. So how was he oh, making you orgasm? Like, like, was it with his dick? Like, was he using he was a toy? Using, he was using the Hitachi magic wand. Oh. If you know about the wand, right. Yeah. The wand is the OG of sex toys. So he was using it and he would not let up, like, at all. It was just like, I'm coming. And he was like, okay, we're just going to keep it going. So, so it were like, you tied up? Going. I wasn't tied up for this one. Oh, interesting. So I do that with uh, Tanisa. And when I do that with my fiance. She literally like will close her legs and roll over. Like one day she fell off the bed, but now I want to oh. do that. But tie her up. But tie her up so yeah. she can't run. Because that is actually some shit. And like, then I'll leave and go I've somewhere. I had that before too. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That's one of my favorite. Oh, things. that's tie me up and do whatever you want to me. Those, oh, y'all didn't hear what else I said. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say it again. No, I was saying I would just after like it's all done, I would like leave her tied up and go to the store or something. That's it's really like, rude. Why would you do that? No, you can't do you can do it. Aftercare wild. is very important. After, right. Thank you. I was Aftercare really about is very to say important. That. Once you once you untie her, you also have to take care of her because of what you just put her through. You need to learn some things, Brandon. Yeah. You're an Absolutely. Asshole. How am I asshole? talking about? So I'm gonna just leave her tied up and go to the store and run some errands. I you know, said I was gonna go to the store and get her something to eat because she's definitely gonna be And you gonna that leave her tied up though? I did say Which is like distraught and Coming down because sub drop is a real thing. Mm-hmm. And she's up there. If Wait, you're what's doing a real thing? Sub drop. Can you explain that? So sub drop is a drop in endorsements after like a play session. So if you're uh, doing like an impact play session where you're spanking someone repeatedly for an hour, or you're doing an orgasm play session where you're torturing them with orgasms for an hour, hour and a half, they're on a high. When you do go deaf, when you do go blind, when you start seeing everything clearly, that's typically when you're in subspace where you're just high on everything that's happening to your body. You're high on adrenaline and everything. But when you stop whatever you're doing to get that high, you drop instantly. So then it can be any type of side effect. You could cry. You could laugh Mm -hmm. hysterically. You could be emotional. You could be depressed. You could be hungry. You can't just do all of that and then just tie her up and be like, all right, girl. I'll be right CBS back. Yeah, stuff. like, no, you can't do that. Okay. You really taking me to school. I didn't know <laughs> this was actually real. Yes, you have to. That's yeah. why That's why people, especially in the BDSM community, people stress aftercare. So what? What? what, is, so what does aftercare for look like? For, like, I put you through all this. What should I do to take care of you afterwards? So first of all, the conversation needs to be had. Prior to whatever you decide to do with that person, you need to discuss aftercare with her. So you need to ask her, what are the things that make you comfortable after a BDSM session? For me, it's a blanket, it's TV, and it's apple juice. So uh, if we're doing damn, something in That's what intense, I used to get yeah. when I got a whooping. Aftercare! <laughs> aftercare! That is yeah. aftercare. Wow, it makes sense. It, it makes sense. But the, and like she said, like that's a conversation that you just need to have with Tis because yes. aftercare looks different for each person. Wow. Like I it just really I like to be rubbed. Like I like to be rubbed afterwards. Word. All over. Like I like to be rubbed on my shoulders, ease my tension, yes. ease yes. like especially if I've been tied up. So I've been like moving and I'm probably in can, I don't need any aftercare right now. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> but um after it's just, you know, I like to be rubbed and then I like to be fed. Like Feed me. Yes. Like feed you dick or like food? Food. Here I like to be sustained. I like to be fed. Okay. All with right. nourishment. Because after that, you're tired. Yeah. Like you're tired, you're yeah. drained. You and need, need some nourishment. Water. Yeah. Yes. So, and so back to my second question, uh, how many peaks have you reached? This has been a seven year span since your first. So where are we yes. at now? Um, I've reached two. Because, wow. And that's not a bad thing because from peak to peak, I've learned so much about myself. Like, my first peak, I learned I can't handle 
orgasm torture. I also learned I really like anal. To the point where I, I have a whole thing about anal, like toys and plugs and play. Like, it's a whole thing. You look like, like, like getting that. it done. Shut up. Right. What getting is it? it done and doing it. Like, I, yeah. Wait, doing I what? I learned that anything anal with somebody. Like, like, I'll do anal sex with a woman. Um, I'm not pegging men. I'm not going to say I won't never peg a man, but it's just not really for me. Mm-hmm. But if they, like, want anything done anally, I'll do it. Can we see your hand? You finger pop? Finger. I have little oh, hands. She, you, she, you got nice got little finger, finger, pop finger popping 100. fingers. You do. You have Y'all both nice got the Vienna fingers. sausage hands. Yeah, because if I didn't have, like, these. these Ooh, I never definitely. noticed until, put it up again. You do get the Vienna I hands. I told you. That's okay. why I keep you my have nails have long. Nails. Yes. I keep my nails long because they slender out my hands. You can't. They look mm-hmm. a little bit more elegant and they look a little longer. Okay, Miss. When Ray. I keep the long nails, and that's why I because get because when you don't, they too. look like little sausages. Yep, they look like little sausages, and I can't. Ah, <laughs> now it's making sense. <laughs> so, but I do stick these little sausages up booties when I don't have nails. Listen, oh, nasty. So, have you stuck a finger up a booty? I have a man's booty. Yes. Which finger? Two. Two fingers? Two fingers? My middle finger. No, my middle finger. Like, you put them in at the same time? Two fingers. Two men. Oh! <laughs> hey, I'm like, so my I'm man's so I've never, I've never stuck more oh. than one finger up a booty hole, but I have picked so, a man, one. though. So, Ooh, I'm sure he would want me to put more than one finger up there. So, could you do any position of course. in Right. At this point, I can't. You just look. You it just, took a while to get there. It looked like you could reverse ga- cowgirl. I, with that's what I'm imagining. I could, I honestly, have. I'd like yeah. to see it. Yep. Like, and, I would. and you just hold on to her titties and you just lay on her back while she reverse cowgirl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. That's what I would. I do. definitely have. If I actually got hurt doing that, that though. You got How? hurt, right? It got ripped. Um, it did. Oh. I was, because I was like, I was really, really drunk, but I was really into it's it, and he was like. You were Brad going harder than I was, and that's what happened. Was it lube yeah. involved? It was lube involved. Do you I always, always lose lube? lube. I'm okay. Very pro lube. I was very pro, pro lube. lube. Yes. yes, air five. Girl. I know a virtual know. high five. I know because... a few women who just like they can just take it, like just stick it in there. Mm-mm. I, I, I am not that wild. woman. I'll say one of them. I've been not, doing eight for seven, eight years. Right. No, I'm Period. not that woman. What I will say with one of them, they got they used to get so wet that. It created, it, it lubricated itself. Now, oh, see, I fire. have come out of my ass. Like, I have Her come out of my ass. Lubricated. And it's without the lube, you know, it was just a thing. It was just happening, you know. But that was with yes. fingers. And I think we got max three fingers in there when that happened. I'll Ooh. say that that was probably one of my best orgasms. Like, because oh, yeah, she that was, was self lube. That was good. Like, and I was fucking her in the ass. And I remember, like, it felt, when you fuck a woman in the ass, it don't feel like a pussy. It just feels I like... I can imagine. But fucking her ass felt like... I'm not going to say like a pussy, but like it felt like an ass with a pussy in it, if that makes any sense. It does. I see where you're coming from. Like, I can it, actually see so, exactly where it comes from because of the self loop. Yeah, and it was yeah. like when, yes. I, when I orgasm, it was just like... I fucked her really hard. Like, that was probably the hardest <laughs> I ever fucked anybody. That's crazy. Yeah, it was just like... That's lit. And then yeah. when I pulled out, I seen it gaping. I was like, oh, that's sexy. I wouldn't, if I was oh, me wait, now, I would have spit pie? in it. Yeah, but she was, she, her hole was gaping. Because of the Ooh. freshly taken out dick. Yeah. yeah, that sounds hot. Yeah. That sounds like a great money shot, honestly. That sounds like with the, with the cum you dripping. It. With the cum dripping, that sounds yeah. like a great, I honestly, yeah, like I wish that I could find a dick, like a dildo that has the power to cream in a man so that I could see his booty hole creaming. Ooh. I, I want to make it what? happen. Like I don't want to, I don't want to like find another dick that's you know. I don't want to see a video of it. I want to make it happen. I want to visually see. Like I wish I could come in a man. <laughs> I want to move on. Love you, you. You just went too fucking. Hard. I wish I could come in a man. Hey, this right, so, so relevant though. Can, you are a sick <laughs> ass nigga, man. What the fuck? So, um, so let's move drink, on. Man. Let's move on. So, Kate, you got some water. Um, Shit. how long have you been podcasting? Tell us about your co- podcast. What made you start it? What made you get started with podcasting in general? Fucking I'll make you another drink. Give me some water, man. <laughs> so, I started in 2018, May of 2018. Um, I have literally been listening to podcasts since 2013. And I remember specifically, and I held like I kind of stood like imposter syndrome. I stood in my own way. So I remember telling a friend of mine, like when I got, I got into BDSM in 2015, like heavily into 2015. 
And I remember telling a really good friend of mine, I was like, I should do a BDSM podcast because I haven't heard one. I'm like, nobody ever talks about sex and BDSM openly. This was 2015, so this was like well over like, you know, seven years ago. And I'm like, I should do that. But I held off for so many years and I just kept talking about it and talking about it. And I went to, so they have this really great meetup here called Pod and Live NYC, where like all these podcasters from the tri-state or the coast, other states, like Midwest, they get together and they just meet up, they network, um, you know, talk about podcasting, learn things from each other. And it's so, so like my best friend at, yes, you actually should, well, I mean COVID this year, but next year, definitely. Um, So my best friend sent me the link and she was like, I really think you should go because you've been talking about um, starting a podcast for a long time. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go. I ended up going, meeting two really good friends. One of those friends was Josh. So me and Josh did the podcast together like the first year while I was living in North Carolina, I mean, New York the first time. And it kind of just went from there. Like after I went to the meetup, Josh was like, I have a podcast, come on my podcast. The first podcast I ever did ever was his, which was Talking Shit Podcast. And like a month later, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So May of 2018, I decided to start. And here we are. <laughs> That's dope. Right, what other that. podcasts have you been on? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> cocktails with cocktails. Hey, um, look, I, I like that. I like that <laughs> podcast. I heard of it. I've been on Horrible Decisions twice. I've been on Heart of Soul. I've been on um, the Idiosyncratic Podcast, Bull and Bunny Podcast, uh, Poom Poom Chronicles Podcast, From the Mind of Mr. L. Everybody knows Mr. L is my friend. Um, I actually got him into podcasting. Like, I'm so happy that I told him he deserves the podcast, and he's doing great with it now. It's It's been about 17 to 20 podcasts that I've been on That's over beautiful. the span yeah. of, like, That's three years. Okay, yeah. so I'm just curious because I can't remember because I've been following you for a while. I want to say mm-hmm. since I started doing cocktails with cocktails, so it's been three years. Mm-hmm. So, how did you find us? How did I find you? Okay, so you know how when I don't know if you have well, you have an iPhone, but um, you know how when you go to a podcast and it'll give you recommendations. Oh, like okay. I listen, yeah. yes, I listen to a lot of sex podcasts, and then I saw cocktails. I was like, "Oh, let me take a listen." So I've literally been listening ever since. So I'll I can't remember when it was. It was like a year or two ago. I'm going to tell you a secret, and I don't want you to judge me. <laughs> I've listened to. So I used to listen to horrible decisions. I I used to listen okay. to you. Uh, I don't listen to podcasts anymore because I feel like Why? it it stunts my creative growth. Oh, and I either start thinking like that podcast or I won't think at all because right. I'll be so afraid to think like another podcast. Mm, so yeah. it's very hard for me to listen to full episodes of podcasts because I agree. I feel actually. like it takes away from my creative growth there. But mm-hmm. be like, I remember I, I heard you on horrible decisions and that's when I went and followed you because I'm like, Oh, she's a mother. She's a nasty motherfucker. And, um, <laughs> Brandon, like, that's how you follow no, most of the people I, you no, follow. I'm, it is. That's true. But then she actually followed me back. And I was like, oh, my God. Sorry. I oh, you fanboyed her. I, I definitely that's was fanboy. I was like, so oh, my. No, 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 no. This is when I fanboy. I was like, I mean, you know, blue check. A couple blue checks followed me. So that it wasn't like the like the biggest thing in the world. But what made it crazy was when I DM'd her and she actually responded. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> What do I say now? And so, like, we've been trying to get Lost her on the show. Words. Like, we talked about it, and then COVID happened. Yes. And then mm-hmm. we weren't even recording for, like, three, four months. And mm-hmm. then we started recording. And it was like, all right, let's let COVID slow down. And COVID was like, it's only slowed down for Republicans. So then, you know, all that shit happened. <laughs> so that's where we're at now with it. So I want to know about, now that we're off to the podcast, back to fucking and sucking. Um your first kink experience. Like, was that literally the, the orgasm torture? It wasn't. That's crazy. So like my first kink experience was. who? Okay. So I was living in North Carolina. My ex Dom was living in Brooklyn, which he still lives in Brooklyn. To Question. This day. Is his name um, Dom or was he your dominant? 
He's my dominant. Okay. Um, right. The nickname, he was on my last episode with my roommate. So the nickname we gave him is Teddy. Like, I'm not calling him his nickname. I just don't like it. And he has a hard time with me calling him his government because for like four years, all I called him was daddy, sir, or master. So it's like, he's like, Fair. I don't know what you're supposed to call me. Yeah. Right. So and I'm you like, don't call I'm him that no more? You. She said he's not my dom. That's her, her ex dom. So she's not going to call. She's not going to call somebody who is no longer her dom, daddy, or master. Ever. Okay. Yeah. So his nickname is Teddy because he looks like a very young um, Teddy Pendergrass. Like, gorgeous man. I'll give him that. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He really is. Like, and unless he get his numbers, you want to fuck. I, I mean, I'm intrigued. When you see when you see he look like a young hey, Teddy P. Just don't let Ooh. him get you head in the car. Ooh. Right. Cause that's my yeah, favorite version of um, a whole new world. You're disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Nick bomb. I will put you on. Okay. Mm. So, <laughs> so what was that first experience like? Our first experience was. It wasn't necessarily like a particular thing. It wasn't bondage. It wasn't orgasm play. It was really his dominance. Mm. So him directing me what to do mm. in like and like us just having sex. Okay. Him allowing me not to come or to come, and it was wild. I ended up on the floor. I fell asleep in the bathroom. It's wild. that it came with that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was really drunk. She been getting some wild head. dick. I, I used to. I miss those things in my former life. I did, but you know. So that was honestly, it was just his dominance. Him directing me, telling me what to do, telling me to kneel, telling me, you know, open my mouth, take the dick. Wallow, like it was mm. that that kind of like peaked it, and I'm like, yeah, this is it. Do you this get peed on? Like, no, hell no. I don't like uh oh. urine snakes. So like, what are your heart stops then? Is, mm, yeah, what are your heart stops then? Yeah, I'd like to know. Clearly, urine play. Fluids, fat, blood, like those are my heart limits. I'm just like because I'm, you know, I have a master's in public health. And it's a concentration in like communicable and uh, infectious disease, so my mm-hmm. mind just goes there, and I'm just like, no, right. So those are all of my heart limits. I feel that. So, I feel that wholeheartedly. Is it safe to say yes. you're a sub? Oh, I'm a whole sub. A whole so sub, not a switch. Play. Nothing. Yeah. You're just a whole. I'm sub. a switch. I'm like thirty percent switch. Like it's hard. I switch, okay. but it's very hard because I go right back into like a submissive gotcha. state of mind. But I, I identify primarily as a sub. Um, I have been a sex slave and occasionally a slave. A sex slave? Okay. Explain, explain yeah, Go into detail on this sex slave. Fuck this like, list I just of shit thinking gonna talk of about. just like a leash. My, my first thought just goes to leash. Like walking my like a dog. Yes. Is but I didn't. Bitch. I was completely collared. I wore a collar everywhere, every day. Everywhere. All days. Every day, yes. all day. All day. Y'all went to Kmart. Um, you had on a collar. We went and bought the collar from PetSmart. That was an interesting story because the cashier was like, "So what are we doing here?" And he literally put it on me in the store, and the like the cashier was book. Like, That's some sexy shit. I oh, would love that. Yeah, oh my so god! <laughs> I need to find me a dime. I need to Same. find me a dime. Hey, I'm about to hit up Tanisha. I need a dime. Get her a collar. <laughs> and I want him to take me to fucking PetSmart or Petco and put a and goddamn gotta, collar gotta on me. Very far out in the suburbs. You gotta make no. It we can do it in. We can do it where everybody will see us. This yeah. is my daddy. No, that's what I mean. Exactly. Like I want you to go to the whitest place possible and do that wild shit. Oh yeah, we're yeah, on Long sure. Island. So oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Wow, this sounds phenomenal. So are you single now? <laughs> I am. Okay. okay. So with you, being... I have been single for two years. Okay. So are you open to dating? I am. I've actually decided to jump back in there. I have a date next week. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, next nice. week. Oh. So <laughs> yes. could you, as far as dating, like, would you, are you down with like having sex with a couple? No. In Detroit? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, so with these couples, because you mentioned in your you mentioned in your survey that like no couples are, are another hard stop. It seems yeah, like what did we for do to you? you. So like yeah, what did you have? I, it so, sounded like almost there was an experience that happened. Yes, okay, absolutely. let's so, get into it. Okay, I love you so much. You have no idea. <laughs> so you I really do. I would. Hell yeah. What? Oh, what? I want to suck on them titties. For sure. All right, so we For gotta... sure. Definitely. Oh Definitely. <laughs> and you can put one of them little fingers in my booty, too. Yes! Are you in a voyeurism? Oh, like, could I watch all this? 
I am into voyeurism. Yes, New York next summer. New York next summer. New York next summer. Yes. New York next summer. yes. <laughs> okay, wow. But, um, great, great. So, this I was is... a sex slave with okay. my ex Dom. My ex Dom is into like dominant submissive relationships, but he's more so into master slave relationships. Mm. So, it wasn't just me, he had two additional slaves. So we're collared sometimes together. So (laughs) that taught me that I don't like to share. It's too many personalities. It's a lot of energy. You ain't sucking Um, dick with nobody else. I'm not poly. Like, and I know I'm not poly. I am strictly monogamous. And it took that experience for me to be like, I can't, I'm not wired. And I know a lot of people are. I'm not wired to emotionally be attached and connected to more than one person. More do I like, or do I want like more than one person to be connected to my person? Mm, So I don't like to share. And my thing is if both of y'all niggas break up with me, now I got to burn your house down. Hell yeah. Now I got to cause a rampage. Right. It's bad enough to be dumped by one person, not two. Y'all got together as a unit and was like, you know what? We're cool. Oh, they broke up with you? No, I broke oh. up with them. Wow. Because she because has to make the first move. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not about to get my heart broken by these people, wow. by Absolutely. this couple. So, so I would rather leave. Wow, that's wild. Mm-hmm. So, but so you wouldn't just, because of that situation, you would never do another couple ever again. No, because I know mentally I can't handle it. Okay. So I'm just yes. screwed. All right, I got it. This, this kind of <laughs> hurts a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> You know that gif with Denzel acting like Malcolm X and he slapped the book? Like, that's me right now. Goodbye. I'm I'm very, I'm very, like, upset. But you mentioned, like, you can't do poly relationships or, uh, you know, sex with a couple. But let's talk about, like, this bisexuality that you stand in. Like, you literally say that you split the screen in the middle all the way to the left. You're women all the way to the right. You're men. You're 50-50. Yes, I absolutely am. Could you marry Um, a woman? I don't know. That's what I've been thinking about. So that's sixty forty. Is that soulmate a woman? I don't know. It depends. Well, do you see yourself married to anyone? Let's ask that question. I do. Okay, so you do see yourself married, married, but you see yourself mostly married to a man. I do. Okay, and us having like fun with women. Okay, y'all slutting these hoes out together. So you will have. So you can be the couple fucking a third, but you won't be the third. No, no, no. they don't have to even be our unicorn. We're not asking you to join our couple and be our girlfriend, but like, we're not going to say no right. if you want to like fuck with us occasionally. But right. you won't fuck with a couple occasionally. No. All right, I'm that not, was my I'm last shot. Unicorn. I'm not shooting. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm nobody's, nobody's unicorn. unicorn. Okay. And that's the name of the episode. I'm nobody's I'm very, unicorn. I'm very upset. I'm just, okay. You're just hurt because now you can't get the unicorn of your dreams because she seems like Honestly, the woman of my dream. She meets all of my qualifications that I look for. She said y'all can fuck in front of me. I'm aware of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can't fuck her. I'll jack off in the corner. I'm fine with that. Period. (laughs) Period. Get you a flashlight. But since I can't but since I can't fuck, I'm not cleaning up my nut. Then you're not invited because I'm not cleaning up anybody's right. nut that I didn't. Let's fuck. get a hotel room and make the mate clean it up the next day. No, that's rude. You still cleaning I'm up in my presence. Then leave. Can you cuddle with it a male? It doesn't work that way. Could I cuddle with a male? Yeah. In a like a man? I yes. like to cuddle. I I like to cuddle. Like uh, physical touch is definitely one of my peak love languages. He's asking you to cuddle him specifically while he's in no. his relationship. Yeah, I can get permission no. to get cuddled. Right? I don't cuddle other people's other people in other relationships. And that's what he was like, asking. I, cuddle I can get permission for that. I am in a relationship with. She's not going. She just said even it don't matter if you get permission. Right. She's not gonna cuddle with you because you're in a committed relationship. I'm holding my hand like that, like I'm the little dumbass kid that just got told no. Because you acting, I'm the you acting kid like the little dumbass kid. No. Right. Damn! Stop it. Shit. I'll stop touching you. Yes. No, like I am very anti someone else's relationship because I, and again, I'm not poly. So I respect all relationships, monogamous, poly. I just, I want my own person. And like, you have your person. And it's like, at the end of the night, it's kind of like, okay, bye girl. And y'all cuddle each other and just be happy. And I'm just like, alone. 
Right. So I want my own relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which I feel I hope, that. Hopefully I'll get soon, but you know. I feel that. We'll see. Wholeheartedly. Yes. You know what? I want to freestyle. I want to create <laughs> a fuck, Mary kill on spot. Okay. Oh. And, and Kiki, I want you to give Alessa a fuck, Mary kill. Okay. And I'm going to give you a fuck, Mary kill. And then Ooh. I'm going to give you a fuck. No, Mary y'all Q. both can give me a fuck, Mary kill. Okay. Okay. Bro. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let you go first, Kiki. You really put me on the spot. All right. I'll oh, go first. God. That's why I went yes. to go. Okay. So I'm going to give you a fuck, Mary kill. Mm. All right. Now we got. What's the chick name with the big nose that be making the, uh, that do the shy? That do the shy? Yeah. Lena Way? Yeah, all right. So we got Lena Way. <laughs> I'm done. Um, yeah. Throw the whole man away. We got Lena Way. Uh, uh, you ever watch All American? All right. Yes. Uh, what's her name? Scoop? Scoop. Not Scoop. Scoop. Coop. No, Coop. Coop. We yeah. got Lena Way. We got Coop. And we got Alessa. Okay. So now you're gonna get strapped. So pick your fuck Mary kills with these straps. Oh, I love oh baby. Strap me. Okay. So Mary Alessa. Kill Coop. Fuck Lena Wave. Cause Lena Wave looks like she will. Lena fuck does look like she can fuck. <laughs> Lena do look really? like she can fuck. She looks like she got straps. Yes. But I want her to put a yes. wig on while she do it. I want her to specifically okay. wear that bob braid wig that she had in um what was that bad hair? No, not bad hair. The movie about the hair that was on Hulu. Why would I see that? Movie? Yes, what the horror movie? movie. The horror movie. Yes, yes. I can't even remember the name that of the movie. But I would specifically actually. want her to wear the Jada Pinkett bob. Braid wig. Goodbye. If she I'm were to done. fuck me. That's what I would want her to fuck me because I want to watch them braids swinging. <laughs> Definitely. All right. I love it. Now, Kiki, it's your turn for a lesson. Okay. And you got to so, include yourself in it so she can be honest. Okay. <laughs> so me. <laughs> fuck very cute. Me. Uh, who do I love right now? Ooh. I love Megan Thee Stallion. I love her so Ooh. much. It's like, me. Megan Thee Stallion, or you know who Ruby Rose is? I do know who Ruby Rose is. Wait, Ruby wait, Rose is that the white okay. girl or is that the rap the the, the That's the white girl. the rapper. Oh, oh wait, yeah. the white Ruby Rose. Yeah, so white. Girl. We can talk Ruby about Rose. white Ruby Rose. Yeah, she did Ooh. Fast and Furious. Damn, damn. Now, now I don't know what to do because <laughs> mm. I was gone. I was I gonna kill Kiki, Ruby Rose. Kill. If we were talking about the other Ruby Rose, I don't, I don't nothing, nothing about her striking kill my Kiki. fancy. But I'm gonna kill Ruby Rose only because she white. It's the only reason why she okay. getting killed. Like, she getting killed. Because I got to marry Meg so she could take care of me and I could just touch all on her and be with her for the rest of my life. And then, I'm, I, you know, I'm just, I'd fuck you. I'd fuck the shit out of you. We could strap yes. each other. We could play with each other's booties. Um, yes! Yeah. All of the things. Would y'all scissor? Things. I could, we could scissor. I've never scissored, but we yes. could scissor. We could me definitely either. bump. We could definitely bump some coochies. I could suck on some titties. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Could she sit on your face, Kiki? I love it here. I love it. Because I love when women sit on my face. Could she sit on your face, Alyssa? Yes. 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 I could love I, getting my face sat on by women and men. Can I, can I like, bring y'all juice? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? You want to feed us grapes and bring us juice? Honestly, I'm not going to say on air what I would want to do. Fair. I would want to be the okay. assistant, like the person holding the toys, like not the assistant. like you know, I'm massaging dead. feet, you know. <laughs> During, yeah, okay. I'm not sucking. Just here, I'm not sucking like, are you like a fluffer? Are you gonna be the fluffer? Yeah, I'll know? be the fluffer. Like, I'll, I'll be like the finger porn? popper. Look, the fluffer on y'all porn? be bouncing oh back God. on my fingers like this. Just, 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 you know, we'll, you know, to keep, to keep us ready. Right and and our yeah. cameraman, our cameraman said he would come and, and record. record. Yep. Sounds like a session. Two she said two cameras. Two angles. There two we cameras. go. Now, yes. now, before Alessa goes for me, do you think you have a cute booty hole? You have the confidence of a woman with a fine ass booty hole. I do, and I've been told that I have a cute booty hole. I've been told I have a cute, like a pretty pussy, like from women and men. Okay. And it's... like, I like my ass eight, and I love anal. Like, fuck me. So absolutely, I'm gonna keep my booty June, hole pretty. Right? June, we're going to. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. We can't. I'm getting married in June. May, May. Here you, you go. May. Exactly. I'm not gonna be, you think I'm be able to go to your wedding in Brooklyn? I, I'm gonna be honest in, with you. I will take. May. I never. I say I will never take a spirit flight. I'll take a spirit flight to New York. It's no, you will not. We're not taking a. Again, we're not right taking in. a spirit flight. Spirit is anywhere. the Bronx of the airlines. It is. It really is. Nah, see, don't tell it's anybody. It's the ghetto for me. Give me shot. 
It all right. Oh, oop. people in Bronx don't play. Now go, Alyssa, before we end the show. Okay, so Brandon. No. Um, what? N- I just know you coming with bullshit. I can tell. I'm not coming with bullshit. You've been too polite. Okay, so Azalea Banks. <laughs> Her wig. Iggy horrible. Azalea. I'm gonna kill Azalea. And Kinks. Oh. I'm gonna kill a. Oh man, I can't marry no white bitch. Um. I'm gonna kill Azalea. I'm gonna fuck Iggy. Um, while she raps, and she can't rap, but her rap voice is actually not cute. at all. Her rap voice is cute. It's better than her it's talking voice. Right. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm gonna marry uh, Kiki because uh, she'll be my slave, and I could just like, like while she cooking pancakes, slap a lube, tube of lube up her ass and fuck her in the butt. All right, sounds like all a, right. a that's, great that's trade-off. Where the fantasy goes. Yeah. You ever eat while fucking? No. I have to say, I this can't. is the first episode that I've gotten hard during the episode in a long time. I like to deep throat, really deep throat. Like, put that mm. shit, let it sit there for a few minutes. Really? Like, I can't eat. Yeah. Hell Do you yeah. throw up on the dick? I have. And you kept going? I kept going. Like, he was like, oh, that. shit. This is like, my third time my dick moved. <laughs> I didn't see it. I, I got it. Something told me to just. You were brief today? <laughs> Yeah, to box. keep it tucked in, yeah, or box. did you tuck I, it today? I got boxer I'm briefs. Done. I only wear boxer briefs. Niggas oh. still wear regular boxes. Trey, you wear regular I boxers. Asked if you wear briefs, not boxer briefs. They the same Do thing. Are boxer boxer form. I, sure. Briefs to me is tidy whities. <laughs> That's not I ain't never. I don't even know. No, I'm not wearing no tidy whities. Okay. You ever fucking need more tidy briefs. whities? No. Always boxer briefs. I've never fucked a man who wears boxers. Exactly. You fucked the nigga that wears tiny whites. No, I've never fucked. Oh, the... <laughs> once. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was young. How? How I young was were you? Twelve. I was like nineteen. No, nigga. Why did he wear? We had to call, be like, call, call we right were like no, we were nineteen. We call were both right 19. now asking why you're here. Uh, That's why I'm pretty sure his number has changed because he lives in Texas with his wife. Ask him if he still wears tidy whities. I don't have access to my Facebook, but I will try. <laughs> if I can find him, you know what? Let me see if I can find. Because that was my that was my first white boyfriend. That was my first white boyfriend. Oh, he was white. Oh, girl, he was white. Oh, he was white. Yeah, he was white. It makes sense, it makes sense. now. It makes it sense. Does. Do you think all white people it wear tidy whities? I do think all white people wear tidy whities. I don't even Wait, notice tidy whities in the store. No, 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 no. Don't say that. The guy I'm going on a date with is white. Please don't say that because then I'm text not going to be right, able to Text him right now and say, "Look, fam." Do you wear tidy whities yes or no? And then, then you know if you should go on a date or not. Well, I did actually get him out of tidy whities because I made fun of him. Like, with the tidy whities. Yes. When I finally saw them, because, like, I usually, like, when I would go over there, you know. They was like, white, too? No, they were gray. <laughs> they were, okay, like, gray fruit they were colored tidy whities. Like, they were, like, gray fruit and <laughs> But I was like, you really wear these? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I would have been like, like so. Why you got Did you wear them to sleep, too? No, we slept naked. Uh, was the dick good? Yeah. That was some pretty good one. Did you suck it? Give me hope. I've never had That was actually before I sucked. I actually thought sucking dick was disgusting when I was 19. So you never so you never tasted pink meat. All right. I've never tasted pink meat. All her meat has been cooked. Good job. I've had it in me, but I've never tasted pink meat. Kiki, you gotta come back on the the show. And, and yes. tell us how uncooked meat tastes. Yes. And let us know yeah. if he's circumcised. I always imagine white men being uncircumcised. I've gotten lucky. Well, they're in... always uncircumcised, aren't they? They're the ones who I created it. I've had sex with the uncircumcised the guy created... that was not white. Um, you think they're the ones who created uncircum... like not being circumcised? White people no. always find a reason to cut some extra shit off. Mm-hmm. They cut their tails off. Let me tell off. you who created it. Dominicans created it. Mm. There are a lot of Dominicans who are not the guy I was fucking who was Dominican, he was not circumcised. I would not. All. If I Did had like a son, that? I would not circumcise my son. Once it got hard, you can't tell. So. I was yeah, because it peaked it out. Ta- I was going to say, how long do it take to clean? I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't know. have a dick. So, yeah, so I, I, I don't know anything. Of, clean. I'm circumcised, so when you're uncircumcised, like, never mind. I don't know. It's literally like a turtleneck. Like, it's like, so if you got a small dick, is it always a turtleneck? Oh, see, I don't know. His dick wasn't small. I, so. That I'm not sure, but it usually, even when it is bigger, it still got that little flap of skin until it gets hard and it pokes out like a dog. When that little pink thing Jay, do you out. circumcise? Yeah. All right, never mind. Black men are typically are circumcised. I've never seen a Trademark. black man who wasn't circumcised. 
Right, Let's try to find an uncircumcised man and we can ask okay. him all these questions. All right. Well, yes. look, this has been a great episode. We appreciate you. Uh, seriously, you're the best Zoom guest we've ever had. Yes, you've been amazing. Thank you, Thank you so and much, Kiki. Yay. Alessa, she's not going to show you her titty, so stop asking in your head. I can okay. hear you. Okay, I'll stop. You want us to start recording? Just oh. get cleavage. Ooh. Alexa. Ooh. Did you see that? She got a tan. Yeah, I saw that tan oh line. God. I did. I did. Ooh, you I know what? That means she got somewhere. the really cute tan areolas. Oh, some nice okay. brown areolas. They probably I don't nice have big, big areolas. They not big. They not big. I'm yeah, but they're not small either. They see, I got little areolas. I got a little white girl. I call them little white girl areolas because they little. Like they know. little. My they're areolas like, little. 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 areolas just look like they've been through a lot. I don't like understand this. what that means. It means and that I'm they curious, like to get so. and... Okay, right. Wait, are your titties serious? No. No, they mm-hmm. should be. No, my Mine titties are not pierced. Really? I am afraid yeah. to pierce my titties, actually. Because Why? You got a nose ring. It is so cute. Thanks, Brandon. Because I have cute little skin, so I can only get a few things pierced. Oh, I know. Never mind. Gotcha. So, look, this is I want to get a Christina episode. piercing. What's that? It's Which like one is the that? the top of your... It's the top of your pussy, but not Oh, it's the, the top of the pubis. It's the top of the pubis. Yes. See, I have my hood pierced. You do? Oh, I'm scared. I do have my hood pierced. That's, Prove it. Oh, Brandon, you've seen it. I've shown you I've shown you pictures. So, why you always do that? I was talking. I was so, how I'm going to show it to her? She, gonna bar- she ain't going to barely be able to see it on the screen. Send I'll her send a it to her later. Her. I'll send it to her later. Send her a picture yes. of you fingering yourself. Only if that's what she wants. Do you like, give her a sweet. I love a good nude. I love a good video. Please, I am not I guess a I'll send you a video with my little pierced pussy of me fingering myself. Yes. And but man, I but that, Chris Paul. The Christine is cute. I'm just I am scared of that though. I feel like I would keloid up I'm on my terrified. vagina if I did that. What? So, and I don't can you get a vagina skin. keloid? You can get keloids you on almost can. any part of your skin depending on where it is. Mm-mm. That's why I got my septum Mm-mm. pierced because. Um, my dermatologist told me that this amount of like this thin membrane of skin, I won't get a keloid. I'm unlikely to get a keloid. Did you cry? Okay. I you saw it that I did. Oh, so I don't pussy. You know what? You, you, know, you cry by default. Right. It's a reaction. It's literally a yes. reaction. It's nerves. He's just such a bitch. And it's okay. I've had a nose ring for a decade. You cry by default. Right. I did not cry when I got my tongue pierced, so I didn't notice it. And I didn't cry when I got my when I got my pussy pierced. It was I didn't not cry bad. when I got my nipple pierced. You should get your, like, you get your gooch it. pierced. No, I'm not getting that pierced. Ow. Yeah. We know someone yeah, with their no. gooch pierced though. And doesn't that sound terrifying? Who? Yeah. It sounds terrifying. You know what I'm talking about. No. Oh. <laughs> yes. I love how you Cool. Who? Cool. Yoga cool. He's got his gooch pierced. He said it's oh, great. Shit. He said it's, it's great. Dude. Oh, it's a he, dude. Is he a top bottom? Oh shit. I'm actually not sure. Oh man, we gotta bring him on the show and find out. Yeah, we do. Wow. I have questions. Yeah, yeah I have tons of Tune questions. Tune me into the next episode of Cocktails yes, with Cocktails. Cocktails. It's so I feel bad because we're recording and I don't want to stop because if we stop, then we can't talk to you after and I can watch y'all fuck because you're in New York. Sorry that he can't live Your out the okay that with has. that. Right. Like, yeah, you would definitely, I'd have to talk to Tanisa and see if she would be okay with that. She'd be okay right. with me watching y'all fuck. Okay, cool. She might want to watch. That'll be interesting. That's, yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Y'all no, gonna do y'all it while we doing it, her. then it'll be an orgy? I no, mean... because she said we can't even swap off or nothing. Then you took the fun out of it. I well, then we, you can watch us fuck her? No. Not going to turn her out. See, look, this has been a great episode of Cocktails with Cocktails. I appreciate y'all. I am taking my headphones off. We send love <laughs> to you all the way to New York, everywhere in New York, but the Bronx. But unless the Bronx. they listen. Everywhere. If they listen, then, you know. I actually do like the Bronx. Okay. I feel like everybody that I know from the Bronx is cool, but I'm I've not, never been to the Bronx not, to experience the Bronx. When we go to New York, I'm not getting on a motherfucking subway, and I'm not, take, I'm not going okay. to the Bronx. So you just gonna pay seventy dollars for an Uber because Uber is expensive as fuck here right now. Okay, great. I seen a rat that was closer to me than she was. I'm oh smooth. God. Okay, this has I been mean, a great episode of me. Cocktails with Cocktails. Kiki, thank you so Call much. Me we a appreciate bitch with rats. you. I don't care. We appreciate you so much, thank Kiki. You. Thank you. And the looking at me like it was his subway. <laughs>